guacamole but with a special twist mango so I like to call this recipe Dionamole <laughs> so what we start off with is a uh, red onion then I use uh, heirloom tomatoes because uh, I find heirloom tomatoes to be more robust in flavor I got a yellow one and a kind of maroonous one it makes the color look real nice on the finished product I also use a large lemon, uh, two limes, and I also have about six ripe avocado, a habanero pepper, and a handful of cilantro. So what I'm going to do is get ready to start cutting this up, and I'm using one of my uh, favorite kitchen gadgets, which is a uh, Vidalia Chop Wizard. If you don't have one, oh, you have to get it. It makes chopping real and simple and easy. I'll just uh, cut my onion there, stick it in here, push it down, chops it right up. And you'll do that. And You'll also um, can use it to do the um, habanero pepper as well. You use a smaller grade in order to get the more finer pieces of the jalapeno or the habanero rather. You don't want large chunks. And just put it in there that simple, just like that. Then I, uh, we can come back and finish chopping this later. But I also uh, get my cilantro, have my scissors here, cut it up. So it's nice and fine. Have the right tools for the job makes it easy. So I got my, uh, my lime linen squeezer. I can just cut it in half, take the top off, and you just put it in here and get your juice from squeezing that lid and twisting it. We do the same with the lime. Take the lime and squeeze it. All right, now, let's get to working on these tomatoes. Got my uh, handy chopper there. A few slices. Put it in, push it down. Put it in, push it down. Just that simple. Ooh. Did I have to tell you how much I like this little machine? Oh yeah. Look at these nice golden yellow tomatoes. Gonna make it look real nice. Oh yeah. Now it's time for my mango. Nice. And right. Slice it down. Woo, look at that color. This is a nice one right here. You can just dice the mango so you can put it inside my slicer. Thank you. 
Okay, time to knock out these avocados. Is it avocado or avocado? I guess it depends on where you're from. Split it in half. Oh, perfect. Got a nice color. Check that out. I got an avocado knife. Good for slicing it. Just score it. If you like yours in chunks, score it and then you just go along the edge in between the meat of the avocado and the skin and it drops right on out. Take it, score it. it out. It also helps if you put on some of your favorite music. It makes cooking enjoyable. Alright, now that we got everything all chopped up, it's time to put it all together. We have my avocado here. Like I said, I like my avocado chunky. So we put a nice amount in. Here we got my mangoes. Ah, oh, look at that. Put that all in there. And then we got the sweetness of the mango. And we're gonna balance it out against the hot fire of the habanero. And then we put in our uh, red onions. And then uh, put in my uh, heirloom tomato mixture, which of it red, yellow, and then maroon one. Take the juice from our lemon in the lime. Go ahead and pour that in. Go ahead and get that pulp in there. Get all that flavor. And then uh, got your cilantro. Woo wee! Um, also use lemon pepper. Just how good it is. Until next time, enjoy yourself.